and this is Monkey 1000 and today we are going to go for a little hike. We are at Potts Preserve again, but we're just going to do a hiking thing and a lunch thing today. So here we go and let's see what we can find. Okay, we're heading into our, the trail. The trail is, uh, what do they call it? It says a new trail. 2.2 miles. It's the blue trail. So, there's Shea Bear ahead. And we've been down here before, but we didn't really go that far in here. That's where we found the oranges. I think it was the tangerines or something. It was an orange. It was all on the ground, and they were good. So, I didn't bring Bruno today because. I thought we could have a little break. He stayed at home with my mom today, so we uh, decided to just come out here. It's a beautiful day. It is cool again. I think the high for today is like 68 or 65, somewhere in there. It is very windy again. So, but it's a good day to go out hiking and moving around. So, here we go. Here that fell. That was not here last time. Wow. Hey, you can camp underneath there. Do a solo camp. That'd be cool. Today we're taking a little hike, we're at Pot Preserve again. On the trail we was on one other time, but we uh, we were just uh, geocaching that day. You know, there's a couple of trees down here, so but there's another reason why we're coming out here. We're gonna have lunch and stuff, but I'll get to that here a little bit later. So hang tight guys. Man, that tree was huge. Well, there's two of them there. Man, I wonder when that happened. So we got a big old tree down here. He's doing his video and I'm doing mine at the same time, so you'll hear his video too a little bit. Oh, isn't that something? That's a huge tree. Might be more than one here. It could be two, maybe three here that fell. That's something. Cool. Anyways, I'm going to take this and turn it off for right the moment and when we get back something interesting I'll kick you back on. Pretty cool in here. This is where the uh, we heard those wolves when we were camping. There were some in here. Ha. <laughs> I mean wolves. I mean the coyotes. They, they probably travel in here. Well, yeah, but we didn't hear them over here. No, no. I said when we were camping. Yeah. And then we saw them on the other. Well, we didn't see them. We heard them on the other side of the water too. At the same time, they were talking to each other. That was pretty cool. You never know what you'll find out here. There is deer in here. There are bear. Um, this is kind of where that bear was hanging out <clears throat> that Shaver encountered that one time. So, it, it can be in here. I'd like to see a deer. That would be cool. Now, we went by the orange tree already that we saw. That was cool. Yeah. Really pretty in here. Peaceful. There we go. Oh. 
red. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. Hmm. It's all over that tree. Okay. I see a huge tree down here. And we'll go down here and check out the tree. Oh, it ain't down. It just looks like it's down. Looks like they've been working, cutting it, or... And they have forest people that come in here and make sure some of this is cleaned up a little bit. They like an open field over there. Wow. You know, because people ride their bikes through here. These are bike trails, too. Not just hiking trails. So, yeah. That's a weird looking tree. Yeah. Rotting slowly. Watch these pumps here when you're walking. I'm good at tripping. <laughs> Man, this would be a cool place to put a tent up. Just to hide. <laughs> good hiding place. <laughs> Really cool. All right, guys, I'll kick you back on in a few minutes. That's an owl you hear. A few minutes ago, that was a, some kind of bird. It was chirping really, really loud, so I thought I'd switch back on. I'm trying to see if I can find an animal or something in here. Deer would be really cool. I love deer. I think they're so pretty. And that one that when we were boating that one time that we saw over by the water, it was at the campsite. And nobody was there. But it's marshy back there. All marshy. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Maybe Bigfoot lives in there. You never know. Or what do they call them? Skunk ape? Yeah. You never know. Just because we haven't found him yet. Doesn't mean he don't exist. Wow, that's cool in there. Really cool. You wouldn't think there'd be any water there. Huh. Okay. Flowers. These are so pretty. I'm going to show you the flowers. Shaber saw them on the trail. All laying on the trail. I don't know why. But they're cute. He says they're edible. So you can eat them. That's cool. I don't know if I would, but, you know. But I guess if you needed to, you would eat them. So it's kind of good to know that you can eat them. log down there. There's a blue trail thing there. There's two on here that are blue, so you can go either way on this trail. And we went left instead of right. That could be... Looks like that had water in there, too. Really cool. And the arch of the tree. The way they grow. Really neat.
Shaver's in the woods over there looking around, seeing what he can find. been like a shack like they used to have they had over there by the water might be another one because this is orange groves all in here so they might have had like another cabin here at one time or something maybe I don't know what it would be really cool he's coming out in here so I better follow him He's seeing here. Let's go find him. He walks faster than I do. Nice stop and gawk. Oh, look. Look what he has found. What is that? Oh. Let's go find out. I saw the other one over there, too. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Do you think there were, like, little houses for collecting the oranges at one time? It was, it was a farm, yeah. Yeah? Huh. Wow, isn't that cool? Hmm. There's a lot of history in here. Yeah. That is neat. Huh. Must have had this agata here at one time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Because there's some things here. A gate there. Oh, yeah. That's that's for a gate. Oh, neat. that was. Yeah. Cool, huh? Neat. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I saw this one. I thought that was cool. Yeah, pretty neat. Uh-huh. Pretty much right in the back door all the stuff going on. Huh. I gotta walk through this. Get back on the trail. <laughs> cool. Very, very cool, huh? pretty in here. I love it. Great place. Anyways guys, I'm going to kick you off for a moment and we'll come back. Hey guys, so we're 
coming up to something here. We talked to a couple people that we passed on the trail. And we told them about where to go to the cabin and stuff. Because they'd never been to the cabin. Um, which you've probably seen in our videos. It's been a while since... I'll try to put it up on my end of this one. So once I haven't seen it. But it's a bridge. That's a cool little bridge. Shavers on it. Rookity. Yeah. Hmm. Neat. Out in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. I ain't getting on that. I have a bounce problem. <laughs> there goes Shea Bear. Crossing the bridge. I can go this way. It ain't that bad. I'll just stay off of that. There's some ponds there, so I can go on them. Yeah, so that was really cool. Really neat. Looks pretty through there too. Marshy. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot with my camera so I can put it in with my video. I'll be right back. I don't have much for the birdies this year, but next year I will have a lot more than this. That is his beard, guys, and he's going to leave it here for the birds to make a nest. So there wasn't much because he had already just done it not long ago, so he trimmed it again this morning, and he's going to leave it here. And we're going to eat our lunch right here on this bridge. That's a really cool bridge. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit and I'll kick you back on is in a few minutes. Good fire starter too if you run out of anything else.
break. Flint. Yeah. That's why you don't buy them cheap ones when you're camping. For your pack. Yeah. Oh, well, it's a good thing you have another one. We need to put a bunch in there. Well, I got fire strikers in there. So yeah. I mean, I could. It's not a big deal. No. At least you found one. Take long with that thing. No, mm -hmm. it's cool. If you ask me, I've never put them to the test, but I like to get a jet boil, put that thing to the test, and I'll bet you it's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, because they want their coffee fast. Yeah. I don't want to do anything fast when I'm out like this or camping or fishing. I don't want to do anything fast. No, that's the whole point of being out here is to enjoy and be. I mean, how fast slow. do you need a cup of coffee in the morning? Not that fast. You know that you can't wait five minutes for water to boil. Right, right. But what I like about the jet boil is you can cook right in it, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Which you can on this, but you know what I mean? Some, some things, if you don't drink coffee like me, you can put stuff in it ahead of time. Right. And then when you get to your destination or whatever, and you can just turn it on and it's good to go. Right. minutes mama. Okay, thank you. I'm going to boil some more water for mine. Mine takes a little more water. I got more if you need it. it just knocks it in the camera on that <laughs> hers I don't even think I recorded it but I poured hers into her cup up to the line it's gonna take four minutes for hers <coughs> excuse me mine's gonna take a little more water so I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and then hopefully I don't forget to turn you back on for that one This is or spicy, so I'm 
and I used all my water up on our food and some of hers. Oh, it's around. Cooked for five minutes. Monkey still hasn't eaten hers, so I hope her noodles don't go real limp because she don't like limp noodles. <laughs> Insert joke now. Probably didn't need that much water, but I will strain some out. She tells you to strain some out, so. this thing. It says 20 ounces of water but you really don't need that much. But I probably got 20 ounces in there. Bring it back up to a boil. Then I'll strain it and add my stuff in. Good to go. <laughs> you got a tree? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Alright, now I've got a strain line. You're filming? Yeah. Filming me setting up my stuff. Mm -hmm. the sun right behind me, but that's all right. All right, I'm going to give this a try. It's not really a review, but Marley and Brian saved me. Yeah. <laughs> that little fork isn't cute. There you go. Hot. Mmm. That's very good. Yeah. Good. I will share with you since you don't like yours. <laughs> Mine has an aftertaste to it. I don't know why, but I, I've had it in there for a while. But she don't I mean, like it's hers. soup. You know? It doesn't go bad, so. No, he wouldn't. But it That's has... the only one of those kind you don't like. You bought that one, right? Yeah. Did you get the water out of the tap at the house? Or did you get it from the fridge? We got it out of the fridge. Hmm. Because it really has an aftertaste. It doesn't there. matter anyway because I boiled it. So. Yeah. No, I was just asking. And besides, our water at the house is... Drinkable, yes. Yeah. Well, it's filtered anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's filtered. It comes into the house. And it runs through a filter before it goes anywhere else. Right. And then it's filtered when it comes out of the fridge. Yeah. So. So I don't know. Maybe it's just the soup itself, but it does have an aftertaste to yeah, it. I'll show you what she got. She doesn't care for it. She loves shrimp, but this is the only one I think that you haven't liked. Yeah. Of this. Yeah, I think so. She bought this. Where'd you get this? Uh. One of the dollar stores. It could have been, yeah, Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Yeah, so, yeah, but. I think it's I'm, Dollar Tree. I'm going to have a couple bites of this. I'm going to share mine with her since she doesn't oh, like hers. No. So. That's okay. You're it, fine. No, I'm going to share mine with her. She's got to argue about everything. If I said it was daylight, she would argue. I will share mine with you so you can have something to eat. So, we're going to eat and then I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so we ate our lunch and we're going to go and explore a little bit longer. Right, but Bear? Yeah. Yeah. So you liked your lunch? It was good? Yeah, we had a picnic. Yeah, on the bridge here. Lots of water back there. <clears throat> Swampy. Yep. Maybe Bigfoot's back there somewhere. 
Yeah. The trouble is, yeah. I didn't bring any meat sticks for him this time. No, you ate them all. Well, one I had to wait. Yeah, I left the next it in day. the bag accidentally, so he had to eat it the next day. Yeah, you probably put it in there for yourself and forgot it was in there. No. No. She steals my meat sticks, guys. <laughs> They're good. I do like them. So, when I see something, we will kick you back on. you guys on and I didn't so we're going through here there's a little bridge here Shaver just crossed it that was cool and there's water on through here and there's marshy through here marshland cool huh pretty <laughs> told you I don't have no balance it's terrible Beans. There you go. Alrighty. Yep. Pretty. Hey, I'll cut you back on in a bit. No, I didn't turn it on. <laughs> That's twice. Oh yeah, yeah. So we're gonna come this way. I showed you, but I didn't have you on. So there's the sign right there, the blue, and we turned right and we're going down here. Sorry guys, I thought I had John. Good thing I checked. And there's a blue one on the tree over here too. So we'll keep going. I know where this one goes. Yeah. I just didn't know where that road goes. Yeah. So this is no, no vehicles be on this point. Alright. Can you drive back to this point? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. But I know where this one goes. Yeah. There you go, guys. We'll hopefully turn you back on again. Guys, make sure you're on. <laughs> we are at the end of this trail. We are at the campsite, right, babe? <laughs> where we were a couple of days ago. Oh. There you go. And I don't see anybody here, do you? Is there? Wow. So, here you go. Okay guys, so we just came out here. Yep. Cool beans. That's the river over there. Yeah. That's where we were just at. We didn't even believe. Pretty cool. So there we are. So, do you remember when I did my solo hike up to the cabin? Yeah. Remember I was on a trail and I kept saying, if I take this trail, it should lead me back to the gate. Right. Uh, that's the trail I thought I was on. Oh, so, I, yeah. So, 
<laughs> Actually, I came out over here. Yeah, yeah. you came out over there. Cool. Oh. That's surprising, huh? Yeah, I didn't think it come out this far up. You said, Where's this? does this come out the camera? And I was like, no, just makes a circle. <laughs> I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> I knew where, well, I'd never been on it, but I knew where it was. Yeah. After I came out that one day out right here. Uh huh. That's where I came out. And when I looked over here, I seen that trail and I knew that was the blue trail. Because their map's all messed up down there. Yeah. The map's not right. Huh. We're gonna have a little sit down or a little break. Sure. That's the way you go back to the cabin. Right. Remember I told Bruno to lead the way? Yeah. He led us about a mile out of here. That orange marker way, way over there. Yeah. yeah. That's the way we went to the cabin. He did it by himself and then we went together because he wanted to show me the cabin. It was pretty cool. So make sure you check out Shaper 1000's videos because I'm sure he still has that up, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it, it's a good video. You'll enjoy it. Here we are. There's two cars here, but they could be kayaking. A lot of them just come in here and put their boat in for the day. They could be hiking too. Yeah, they could be doing what we're doing. Yeah. yeah, see, you go in that way, but you come out that way. Oh, yeah. yeah? Yeah. That's the way we came out when I took you. Right. That's the way I came out when I thought I was on that trail. Ah, uh, I see. But see, when I first went in, I went in down there and followed the water. Uh huh. And then over there, about uh, three quarters of a mile, I came up and hit this trail. Uh huh. So. Cool. Cool. That's pretty neat. Yep. It is. It is very neat. take a break okay guys so we're leaving we're gonna go back to the car he's gonna film something um, we were talking about the uh, kayakers we have figured out what they've done because we want he he wanted to do four days out here and we ended up doing two because that's all that was available and as you've seen in our videos that when I came out here at night with Shea Bear, he was the only one out here. So what the kayakers are doing, they are booking it online because you have to have a code at the gate to bring your vehicle in here. They're booking it online. Here comes the wind, I'm sorry. Um, and, uh, and they're coming in here with their kayaks and they're going to a campground, usually the first one uh, past those um, stumps over there. And they're putting their boats in there. So instead of going down to the ramp, which the, it's not that far. They could go down to the ramp and put the boats in there. So I'm sure that's why you're seeing the campsites full online when they're really not. And that's not right because we could have been out here for a couple more days extra. I was, I'm so close to the house. I could go get my mom and I could bring her out here for a day when we're sitting out and we're just fishing. And she can walk her walker from the car from here because you see where the cars are lined up. That's as far as she can go. And I could take her to our campground and we could eat dinner and I could let her fish and then I could take her home. I mean, she can't get into a tent. She can't lay on the ground. There's no way. So at least I could do that for her and I can take her back to the house and then come back out here for the evening with Shea Bear or he could do a solo for that night and I can come back out the next day and spend another night or whatever. But that would be fun. I've even discussed it with her and she would like that. So the next time we come out here, I'm gonna arrange where we do that for her. Um, she likes, my parents have been always adventure people 
I've always went out and did a lot of stuff. She's like me, I go get her, you know, and she, she wanted to come out today. But I couldn't bring her because, you know, she can't walk on, uh, on these trails. There's no way, she's on a walker. So, you know, but if I could do that for her, I think that would be a really great, great thing for her to be out here and, and enjoy. She likes to fish. And in fact, she's better than I am because she'll take the fish off the hook. I won't. <laughs> so, you know, so anyways, but we're going to go back and um, here we are. We're on the road again. This is the road I took out of here with um, Bruno when I went home. So we're going to go back to the car and I'm basically going to end it here because I know what's on this road. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Say bye Shaver. And, bye. and uh, yeah, I liked being on that trail. That was fun. I am checking out his backpack as you can see. I put it on me because I wanted to see how, how much I can handle it with walking and stuff. And it's not real heavy because it was a day thing. And I really need to bring one, you know, for the day. So, yeah, but I took a bunch of my stuff out. Yeah, you did. I took probably eight pounds of stuff out of there just for this trip. Right. Because you didn't need it. I didn't need, you know, my yeah. hammock and my pad and all that stuff. Right, right. So, remember. <laughs> well, that's why I want to see for a day to I think I'd be fine. I'd have to really feel it with everything that you need to go on a camping thing at you know if we decide to hike. I want to I want to try it out before we do it. Cuz I want to get the feeling before I and not have that shock, you know, well, the, the thing, weight. Well, when we get home, when I get my stuff back in my pack, you can put it on and then tell me <laughs> what you feel about it. <laughs> right, right. Because it is a heavy pack. Yeah. A, a heavy pack. But the thing of it is, is I'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it. Right. I got several knives in there. A lot of people go, you only need one. But if you lose that one, you don't have a knife, I will. Right, right. So. So I understand. I but learned the hard way on that. <laughs> if you're just starting out, just, you know, get what feels comfortable to you. Right. Just the basics and that's yeah. it. Start doing day hikes like this before you decide you want to go hiking five miles into the woods to go camp because it's not going to work for you. Right, Build right. Build yourself up. Well, I knew the feeling when we went that, that day out there in the woods and I had my heavy jeans on and my boots on. And that was the first time but, I really wore those but boots. But you didn't have a backpack on. No, and I felt, my legs felt weak and I'm like, oh my God, that was heavy. But I told you <laughs> when you first got them boots, I said, you need to go walk around a little right. bit before we take a hike. Yeah. I'll be fine. Yeah. Well, I figured I would be, but these got... They got the steel in them, right? These toes, these, yeah. these boots. So that's why I'm feeling the heaviness. So yeah, you got it. If you've never done it before and you're gonna do it, I think you should practice at home a yes. little bit. Yeah, I learned because I been, fell. I've been in wood since I've been five years old. So yeah, I know what I can and can't handle. Right. And I'm not patting myself on the back because there's guys that can carry an 80 pound pack, nothing to it. Right. I carry 15 pound pack now it's about my limit right but you know I know what I what works for me in that pack right yeah. so he wants to get a bigger like a longer one so if he does a solo camp he can take his little tent because we're gonna get him a, a little tent and and uh, you know other things and he can also bring his hammock so if he feels like he doesn't want to use the tent he can hammock or if he doesn't find a tree he can use the tent vice That's versa what I was say if, if, if I'm <laughs> if I'm hiking a place I've never been in all right there might not be trees right yeah and I'm stuck with a hammock right right but they do have those hammocks that will that you can use as a tent too I might look into that that would be cool yeah that, would that be way right. I don't have to carry a bivy and a hammock no it's all in one That'd be you good. can either hang it or you can set it on the ground like a bivy all right cool all right guys so I'm gonna say bye and I hope you have enjoyed the video um, we're gonna walk on this road back to the car so yeah, about a mile. Yeah, it's about a mile. So take care, everyone, and as soon as I get home, I'll try to upload this. Bye, y'all.